The Jamaica Public Service Company JPS billing system is to come under increased scrutiny from the Office of Utilities Regulation, OUR. The utilities regulator has issued a directive to the JPS to start submitting quarterly reports on data on meter readings for residential customers whose bills are 30% higher or lower than the average previous readings. A news release today from the OUR said the report should also include the methods employed by the JPS to notify customers of any significant variance in their consumption. The exception reports should be submitted to the OUR 20 working days after the end of every quarter. Now, this will commence after June 30. And the OUR has asked the JPS to provide a report on the reasons for its failure to notify its customers between August 2014 and June 2020 of the significant variance in consumption. The OUR has also requested that the JPS submit a report on the corrective and preventative measures taken to comply with the billing period restrictions as stipulated in a 2008 memorandum issued to the company by the regulator. We have the details from Prince Moore. The memorandum stipulates that the JPS should ensure that no estimated bills are issued to customers on the basis of a billing period exceeding 30 days, and that it must ensure that 99% of bills based on actual meter readings reflect usage no greater than a billing period of 31 days. Both reports are to be submitted by June 25. The developments follow an OUR investigation into JPS customers' complaints of high consumption since the April 2020 billing period. An investigation revealed that 259,679 accounts, which represent 39% of JPS's customer base, were billed in excess of 31 days. Apart from stipulations set out in the 2008 memorandum, the utilities regulator found that, among other things, the JPS was non-compliant with the previously issued OUR decision relating to the exceptions criteria. This requires the JPS to reject any meter reading that falls outside of average previous consumption for residential customers and should not be applied to customer accounts until it is confirmed to be accurate. Additionally, the JPS is required to notify affected customers of the significant variance in consumption. It was identified during the investigation that for the period August 2014 to June 2020, customers were not notified whenever there was a significant change in their reading. Prince Moore, TVJ News.